Did you fall in? Got the camera on the head mount now, so I have my hands free. Go check out the hole. Think of how far out in the middle of nowhere and now how far underground we are. Hey everybody, Miner Biker here. We're out for a little different kind of an adventure today. We're at what's called Fuller's Bottom on the northwest corner of the San Rafael Swell, right where the San Rafael River starts to cut down into the swell. We don't have any bikes today. We are out hiking. And what we're doing is we're going to hike down into the San Rafael River Canyon a little ways down to what's called the Sorrow Mule Mine, which is an old abandoned copper mine out here, similar to Copper Globe and the ZCMI mine. So we're going to go check that out. Should be fun. A little different kind of adventure. We like hiking as well as biking. So, hope you enjoy it. So, the main reason we're hiking and not biking out here is. For one, hiking is just good for you. It's fun to do that as well. And also, this trail just wouldn't really, not really that much of a trail and probably wouldn't be very good for bikes anyways. And the number one reason is all this down through here, once you get down here along the river, is all part of the Sids Mountain wilderness area. So no vehicle travel at all off of the few approved routes. So. That's why there's no bikes on this trip. And we just like hiking. It's good for you. The dogs like it too. It's a little slower paced. Coming down right into the river. All the trees and stuff down here. You got a few leaves on them, but it is early November, so pretty late in the year. Be interesting to see how much water there is in the river down here what it's going to be like to cross because to get down to where the mine is you have to cross the river at least twice there's the san rafael river still quite a bit of water in it for how dry it's been did you fall in <laughs> oh dear thank you <laughs> So exciting. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't just jump in before you uh, uh, ascertain how deep it is and how steep the bank is. <laughs> or you can just fall in and then get out and run around like an idiot. <laughs> Nothing like a refreshing fall in the river to get you woke up in the morning. <laughs> Alright, shoes are off. Time to go for a cold walk across the creek. This is not warm water at all. Alrighty, got feet dried back off, shoes back on. Now we're just picking our way back through all the brush to get back to the actual proper trail over here somewhere and then we'll continue our way on down the canyon it's super pretty in here hiking along below these big beautiful cliffs and the river and the trees they've still got a lot of fall colored leaves on them it's beautiful Back up the canyon the way we've come. It's so pretty down in here. It's cool. Look, it's a wild animal. Getting close. We're gonna come down here and cross the river one more time back to the other side, and then the mines cross the canyon from us over there. We're getting real close. About two miles from the truck 
down here to the mines. Not too far. Pretty easy hike other than the cold water crossings. Is it just me, or does it look like there's beavers down here? <laughs> there are beavers out here in the freaking swell. Those are beaver tree trees. That's hey, look at these, look at this trunk right here. That is totally chewed off by a beaver. <laughs> that is crazy. I think that's what, back up there where the river is kind of dammed off a little bit. Kind of looks just like a log dam or something. I actually think that was a beaver dam. How about that? Desert beavers. All right, here we go. River crossing round two. It is not any warmer here than it was the other spot. I can't dumb down. Oh, this is going to be hard to get out. Move hook. Whew. That is really cold. Thank you, little dog. You just stepped on my foot, but thankfully it was numb, so I couldn't feel it. <laughs> it's only ice in it. It's not like it's that bad. Alrighty, we've made it. So the canyon continues off down that way. A little bit of a side canyon right here. Actually a little arch thing right there too. That's kinda cool. And the mine is right up this slope up here in the base of the cliff. You can see that tailings pile right there, a waste rock pile. The era of this mine would have been late 1800s, maybe early 1900s, somewhere around there. Don't know for sure. Got some old log timbers and stuff here. It kind of looks like maybe somebody started build a cabin there once or had built one and it was torn down later you can tell it's a decent sized hole because this is quite a lot of waste rock and there's the portal what you think hooks anything in there what you think bud what's in there There she goes, looks like it starts out pretty short, but it gets taller as you get further in. Alrighty, got the camera on the head mount now, so I have my hands free. Go check out the hole. A little short right there at the start, but it gets higher as you get in here. A little bit of loose ground in here. See the bluish copper stuff in there. We've been following. Have fun yet? Mm. Hold that out a bit. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's crazy how smooth that bedding point is. Dogs just need to walk. There's too much dust. Supposedly, from what I found online, something about 2,000 feet or so of tunnel. Oh, we find an intersection. That one doesn't go anywhere. Neither does that one. 
see if this goes in place. Nope. If it did go anywhere, we would follow old Frank's right hand rule to explore them. But since there's only one way to go, don't have to worry about the right hand rule. Think of how far out in the middle of nowhere and now how far underground we are. Uh, don't even come. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, another intersection. That one again doesn't go anywhere. That is so crazy. You almost think they like polished that, but that's just the natural bedding plane of the rock that they dug out along. You can tell how the bedding in here slants because the whole tunnel is kind of <laughs> cocked off to the side. There's a little bit of water. <laughs> oh, I think that's it. Right there. The end of the line. You can see the stuff that they were following. Following this blue. Alrighty, well, that's the end. Definitely pretty deep. They tunneled back in here a long ways and you can see they tried to branch off a couple of times. Didn't go anywhere. Yep, no need to use, no need to exercise the right hand rule in here. If there was any longer branches and you follow the right hand rule and, and you're not going to get lost because eventually you're going to get back out if you keep continuously turning to the right. Hey look, I see light. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Actually this is technically not a tunnel, this is an adit. The tunnel is open at both ends. An adit is only open at one end. Oh, we've had us a nice little lunch break now. We're going to just poke around here a little bit more, see if there's any other stuff related to the history of the spot. And then we'll start hiking back up and get across the river two more times. That'll be fun. We're working our way up into this little box canyon here by the mine. Don't think there's anything up here, but it's kind of pretty up in here. It was like a little slot canyon. It's going to come up here and and at a big vertical cliff. <laughs> Imagine a big thunderstorm out here and water cascading down into here. Looks like Bull Valley Gorge. <laughs> Didn't expect to do some slot canyon hiking when I came out here. Really gonna go any place, but this is way cool. Really reminds me of slot canes down in southern Utah, like Buckskin Gulch and Bull Valley Gorge and stuff. Except if it was Bull Valley Gorge, there'd be a bridge over there with an old truck hanging out of the bottom of it. <laughs> Alrighty, we poked around up the little slot canyon by the mine. That was cool to see. I like slot canyons. Now we are. Starting to head back up the canyon, get to go down here and cross the river again. It'd be nice if we could just stay on this side, but I don't think there's really any way to do it. And pretty much don't have any choice but to cross to the other side here and then have to cross back further up again. Oh, well, that's okay. Do what we gotta do, and it's totally worth it to get down here and see this. Working our way back up the canyon along these really pretty cliffs. I love the Navajo sandstone cliffs. They're so pretty. One of the things that Southern Utah is famous for. Some of the most stunning sandstone cliffs in the entire world. Alrighty, we've arrived at the final river crossing. Pretty deep out here. <laughs> the 
so pretty along here, especially with the late afternoon light. Got a little bit of a beaver dam over there holding back this water. It's real pretty because the water's so still. You get the reflection of the clouds and the cliff and the trees and everything on it. There's definitely beavers living so out here in the desert of the San Rafael Swale. I never would have guessed it. Yeah. They are here. That's a fresh, pretty freshly gnawed one there. That hasn't been down very long. All right, just gotta climb back up out of the canyon here. Then along the rim a little bit and we're back to the truck. Quite excellent little adventure out here. Amazing history, cool old mine. Very cold water, and just beautiful San Rafael Desert country. What more can you ask for? All right, just getting back to the truck. That was a good hike. Not too long. Only about five and a half miles. So that's a round trip. Not too long. Definitely a cool little adventure. That was gorgeous hiking down through the canyon with all the trees and the leaves and the cliffs. The late afternoon lighting on the way back. Really cold creek crossings. And that was a way cool old mine down there. That was totally worth going to see. That was amazing how far back in that went. Way cool. Anyways, hope you like this. A little bit different than my usual videos. Instead of biking, out here hiking. I do quite a bit, of, quite a lot of hiking and stuff so i have to do this more often especially if i get a good reaction to this video thanks everybody for watching remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already check out some other videos thanks for the support